normally, conception occurs after an egg is released by one of the ovaries. The egg is fertilized by a sperm, usually while traveling in the fallopian tube toward the uterus. From the mother, the egg carries 23 chromosomes, the tiny structures holding genes, which guide the body's development. Each sperm brings along 23 chromosomes from the father. When these chromosomes unite, the new cell contains 46 chromosomes, which hold the information that makes the baby an individual. Once fertilized, the egg starts multiplying. It implants in the endometrium, the lining of the uterus, where it develops into an embryo. The embryo is contained in a sac called the amniotic sac, filled with fluid called amniotic fluid. An organ called the placenta grows from cells of the embryo. The placenta is connected by the umbilical cord to the developing fetus. The system of transport is a network of blood vessels. The mother's blood vessels and the babies are not directly connected, but it's a short trip across the placental barrier. So food and oxygen travel from the mother's blood over the placental barrier to the baby's blood vessels. The baby's waste products, like carbon dioxide, are given back in exchange. That same route can be traveled by harmful substances in the mother's bloodstream as well, such as alcohol, tobacco, and drugs, including medications. Behind every healthy baby is a healthy placenta. It really is the key to a successful pregnancy.